بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آئی ایم ڈاکٹر سد عباس دس لیکچر از ڈیوائڈیڈ ان ٹو پارٹس ان پارٹ ون وی ول سی ہاؤ سافٹ ویئر پروسیس میچیورٹی افیکٹس دا پروگرس اینڈ پروڈکٹیوٹی آف سافٹ ویئر آرگنائزیشن ویئر ایز ان پارٹ ٹو وی ول ڈسکس اے کیس اسٹڈی ریلیٹڈ ٹو سافٹ ویئر پروسیس امپروومنٹ well uh, here we will discuss the process management principles uh, before that we need to uh, recall the definition of the of process uh, the process can be defined as uh, the means by which uh, people procedures and uh, tools are integrated to uh, produce a product or uh, an end result uh, so uh, 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 the quality of a product is largely uh, determined by the quality of the process uh, used to develop the product or uh, this is straightforward to understand that uh, a high quality process uh, uh, always yields a high quality product uh, so uh, by extension uh, the quality of a software product is uh, largely determined by the quality of the software uh, process used for uh, developing and uh, maintaining that product Uh, so uh, to improve the quality of a software product the process for producing uh, the product must be improved uh, well to understand the importance of software process management we will discuss some uh, examples of software crises and the resulting problems the facts related to these uh, crises uh, also serve as the motivation for process improvement uh, according to humphrey a review of the sev- uh, 17 major uh, department of defense software projects revealed that one project was not delivered for 7 years and in fact no project was on time and mostly uh, the reasons for such failures were uh, the managerial reasons uh, similarly we have some important uh figures for nine department of defense contracts totaling to 6.8 million dollars and out of these 47% software was delivered uh, but it was never used this shows uh, the limitations or weaknesses of the software development process particularly uh, the requirement engineering process where it was not ensured that uh, the requirements to be implemented are Uh, the genuine needs of the clients are not uh, similarly 29.7% of the software was paid for uh, but it was never delivered uh, 19% software was used but later uh, it was reworked or abandoned uh, similarly uh, uh, appro- uh, uh, approximately 3% of the software uh, could be used after changes and Uh, only 2% of the software could be used as delivered uh, which is in fact uh, a very small uh, uh, fraction uh, so these examples of software uh, problems uh, reflect the need for having uh, effective practices for our development monitoring assessment and improvement of software development processes here we will discuss what uh, an immature organization is uh, in fact the maturity of an organization uh, is the extent to which a specific process is uh, defined measured uh, controlled and uh, 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 and proves effective now maturity implies a potential for growth in capability and indicates uh, both the effectiveness of an organization's processes and uh, the consistency of application of uh, those processes uh, across uh, uh, different projects in the organization so uh, in an immature organization the processes are generally uh, unplanned uh, during the project 
and the specific processes are not uh, rigorously followed. Uh, that results in uh, exceeding the routine schedules and budgets and eventually uh, the quality of the uh, developed product suffers. Here we uh, try to understand the, the process maturity with the help of uh, an illustration. That is uh, how maturity uh, affects the uh, project's results. Uh, just recall uh, the five levels of uh, the CMM where uh, at each level there are a certain key process areas uh, that require the process performers or uh, the software organizations to perform the activities uh, as per uh, the guidelines to achieve the next level. Uh, here in this figure uh, we see that the processes at level one uh, they are not uh, organized and consequently uh, the quality of the product uh, at this level uh, uh, is not acceptable. Uh, but as we move from uh, bottom to top, uh, the maturity of the organizational processes increases at each level. In fact, uh, at each level, uh, the organization uh, performs activities as per uh, uh, the guidelines specified in uh, each of the key process areas and eventually at level 5 you can see that the outcomes are more meaningful and uh, acceptable. Uh, therefore uh, this shows that uh, the maturity of the uh, development processes uh, of an organization uh, contributes towards uh, uh, achieving the desired uh, results and also uh, uh, contributes towards uh, uh, the development of the quality software products. Now we will discuss some success stories of applying the CMA. A study based on uh, 13 organizations where the involved organizations uh, include some a large organizations such as uh, Hughes Aircraft, HP, AT&T and uh, some military organizations uh, present the data about the efforts for process improvement and the results of the software uh, process uh, improvement efforts. So uh, we can see in this uh, table that uh, 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 the total yearly cost of software process uh, improvement activities for uh, these organizations that uh, ranged from $49,000 to $1.2 million, whose median is uh, $245,000. Similarly, uh, the years engaged in software process improvement, uh, it ranges from one to nine years and whose median is, uh, is 3.5. Then cost of software process improvement per software engineer for these 13 organizations, uh, it ranges from $490 to $2,004, whose uh, medium uh, was uh, uh, $1,375. Similarly, productivity gain per year, which uh, uh, it is 9% uh, to 67%, which is in fact a huge gain uh, uh, in return of uh, uh, these process uh, improvement efforts. Similarly, uh, error, uh, early error detection gain per year was 6% uh, per to 25%, which is also uh, a very good number. Similarly, uh, uh, yearly reduction in time to market, it is uh, again uh, 15 to 23 percent and uh, the medium was uh, around 19 percent. So these numbers uh, uh, are in fact very encouraging and reflect that uh, uh, process investment in process management and improvement uh, always pays the dividends. Similarly, uh, here we have a specific case for Hughes Aircraft, uh, whose software engineering division has around 500 employees and is among one of the major con uh, contractors of the 
US Department of Defense. Uh, the company invested sufficiently for process improvement and uh, achieved level 2 of the CMM in 1987, whereas uh, it reached uh, level 3 in 1990. Uh, so to move from uh, level 2 to level 3, uh, the company invested around uh, $450,000 and uh, the return on the investment for the first year, uh, first year was uh, around $2 million, uh, which in fact is uh, 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 a huge uh, return on investment. So it shows that although the organizations uh, may have to bear the upfront costs for uh, investing in process uh, management and improvement, but that eventually uh, results in uh, huge uh, returns on uh, their investments. So uh, here we discuss the lessons learned from the efforts pertaining to uh, the process improvement. Uh, the process improvement results in a substantial improvement of the quality of the software products and also brings organizations a uh, high return on uh, their investments. Uh, also, uh, it is uh, worth mentioning here that uh, uh, active involvement of organization's top management in the process improvement activities uh, plays uh, a significant role. Uh, likewise, uh, another uh, important lesson here is that uh, developing action plans for performing the process improvement activities is important for uh, successful execution of the process activities and uh, to achieve the objectives. Furthermore, uh, process improvement uh, 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 has several other uh, intangible benefits, for example, uh, uh, less uh, stress uh, among the employees, uh, higher morale of the employees, and fewer prices. So, uh, in uh, conclusion, we can say that uh, process improvement uh, pays off and uh, is cost effective. That's all uh, about our discussion on software process uh, maturity. In the next video of this lecture, uh, we will uh, discuss an interesting case study and we'll see uh, how an organization invested resources in order to uh, manage and improve its processes and uh, consequently uh, uh, emerged as a successful organization. Please watch that video. The materials in this video are based on these two sources. For more details, you can consult these sources. Thank you.